Jamie, it feels like it's been a little while since you've been at MK Dons now. It's probably only been about a month, though. How, how have you found it settling in so far? Yeah, it's been really good. I mean, it's a great group here. Uh, they've made it really easy for me to settle in. And, you know, we've been on a great run so far. And we just need to keep that going now. And all focus is on tomorrow. How quickly was the turnaround? Because it felt like you were a Gillingham player and then you were straight away an MK Dons player within, within a matter of minutes. Yeah, it was very quick. I mean, I think it was on a Saturday or a Sunday. I got a text saying it was happening and then literally called back by Chelsea then loaned out straight away about an hour later. So, yeah, it happened fast, but no, I was happy with it. And it's been going well so far, so hopefully that can, can continue. It's um, certainly been a terrific start that you've made, doesn't it? I mean, it, it just everything seems to be going on the up at the minute at, at, at MK Dons. Yeah, we've been on a good run. I mean, uh, especially away from home, we've been performing really well. We've uh, picked up some big victories. But this league is about being consistent, and when a result doesn't go your way, you bounce back quickly, and we've done that well against uh, Doncaster at home. And, yeah, it's, the last few games have been brilliant. Another tough one tomorrow, Charlton away, is, it's not going to be easy, but... We go there with full belief that we can pick up the three points. How different are the styles of play that, that um, Dons and, and Gillingham play? I mean, obviously, it's a, you know we've seen we've seen Gillingham play. They're quite a direct side, quite a direct one, uh, route one sort of side. Um, but as a goalkeeper in an MK Don side, you're often expected to play a little bit more uh, with the ball at your feet, aren't they? Yeah, it's completely different. I think that's obvious for everyone to see. Um, Obviously here, we want to play out as much as possible. But I think in the past few weeks, we've actually shown we can do the other side of the game as well. We can dig in, we can fight. We're not just a team that plays uh, pretty football. Especially the other day, we had to go longer at times when teams come and press. But I think we've done that well and we're starting to find a good balance of when and when not to do it. And it's just about thinking and uh, solving the situations on the pitch. And I think as a group, we've got a lot better at that in the past few weeks. And that's something we need to continue to improve on. You're certainly a, a busy keeper at Gillingham with um, some of the statistics that we were reading when you when you joined the club. You're up there with the most um, most saves in the division. It's been a little bit quieter for you, though, hasn't it? Yeah, it's been polar opposites, to be honest. Um, but I don't mind it. It's, I think Gillingham prepared me for one side of the game, but coming here, uh, I think it's more what I'd get at the elite level because you maybe you have one or two saves to make in the game, but it's always an important moment. Um, so it's really about trying to stay focused uh, for the full 90 minutes and when you have to make uh, your contribution, that like you do it successfully. It didn't come more successful than that one at, at Portsmouth in, uh, in stoppage time, does it? Yeah, that was a good one. That was a good moment, especially for my first game. Uh, that was a big moment for me to help me set win. Three points was massive on that day. So yeah, hopefully things continue this way. You alluded to it a few minutes ago that, you know, it's a big game tomorrow night down at Charlton. You know, Don seem to have been doing pretty well at these big stadiums at the minute. And, you know, as a goalkeeper, you're probably on the, the receiving end of some some brutal heckling from from the um, from the home support. But Don's at the moment seem to be thriving off the big atmospheres. Yeah, I think it's something, like you say, that we thrive off. We perform well uh, when there's a lot of pressure on us, when we know we're going to a big stadium, a big club. I think it gives everyone a lift and... Yeah, it, I think it's uh, all down to the team spirit. We have great belief in the squad. We know we've got a talented squad and we know we can go away to these clubs and get results. And that's what's been happening. Hopefully we can make that continue and we'll be on the right path. They haven't been on a terrific run, Charlton, but, you know, these are it's a, it's a massive club, isn't it, with, with, a, with a lot of history, Premier League history in the, in the last 20 years or so. So, you know, this certainly isn't a game that, that your uh, guys will look at uh, with a, an air of complacency. No, absolutely not. I mean, like you say, it's a massive club. They've got a very talented squad, big budget for the league. They probably sh should be doing better than they are, but I think when a team's maybe a mid-table, they can be dangerous because, you know, there's no real pressure on them to go and get a win. Um, and they've got great talent in their squad. So uh, after their defeat the other day, I'm sure they'll be up for it and we're expecting that. So it's just about us going there, implementing our game and trying to take control of the game. I suppose consolidating further that, that spot in the playoffs um, win on Saturday was obviously massive in doing that. But the more you guys keep that, that head of steam up, the, uh, the, the more likely and that, the closer that, that promotion comes to, to Milton Keynes. Yeah, of course, that's, that's the aim. Um, I think the gaffer said it about 20 times on these interviews. Let's focus on the next game. We don't really think about that. Just take it one game at a time and, and we'll see where we are in a few weeks.